Hello and welcome to a short tutorial on how to use Google Drive. When you first open Google Drive, you may see this message. Click No Thanks. You have been using Google Drive for two years now, but there is a new interface and some of the new features are great. After you open Drive, click on the gear icon. Choose Experience the new drive. At first glance, there's not a lot of difference between the old and new drive. The red Create button is now the red New button. You still have the same list of options along the left side. Incoming has replaced Shared with Me. The biggest difference between the old and new interface is the way you interact with your files. In the old interface, you had to place a check mark next to a document to select it. In the new interface, you click on the document. When it is highlighted in blue, you can use the options at the top of the screen to trash the document, share, view, get the link, and more. You can even select multiple documents by using the shift or command keys. You have multiple view options in the new interface. You can look at your documents as icons or in a list. I recommend using the list view because the grid view takes a lot of space and is harder to understand for most people. You can list your documents according to name or according to how recently the document was used. The information icon provides more information about recent activity or a selected document. The gear icon provides access to settings menus. Click on it and select settings. You should have the box next to convert uploaded files to Google Docs editor format selected. If you need to upload a pages or a keynote document without changing the format, you can uncheck the box and then upload the document. You can also add Spanish in the language settings. Click on Change Language Settings, click on Select Languages, select Spanish, click Save. You can choose additional languages or click Done. This sets your preferred languages for Google products. Your language variant may affect the spelling or vocabulary used by some Google apps. You will be using Classroom this year to share your work with your teachers. You will notice that Classroom has automatically created a Classroom folder with your class folders inside. These folders are not automatically shared with your teacher. Your work shares with your teacher when you click Turn It In on the document. You may use these folders to organize your work for class or create separate folders for yourself. The folder creation is the same process as in previous years but please do not share any folders with your teachers. Let's organize our work from last year. You may delete your old work, but I re recommend keeping it because you have plenty of storage space. The username list you created last year should not be discarded. It should be updated and used this year as well. Let's find that document in your drive. When you are looking for your work, you do not need to open any folders or start searching at random if you know the name of the document. Just type in the search bar at the top of the page. Here is my username list from last year. I can click on the folder icon to move it into my drive. You probably have some documents that are not organized. Drag them into the folders they belong in and rename any untitled documents or delete them. Unshare your old folders. Your sixth grade teachers do not need to continue seeing your work. Also, unshare the sixth grade folder with Miss Jenny. There are two more concepts I would like to address in this video. Printing and organizing your desktop. The printers are already installed on your profile, so you do not need to add a printer again. When you are printing from Google Docs, you click on the print icon or use the menu. This opens a new dialog box. 
Students are not always successful when printing from this dialog box. If you click on Print using System Dialog, you will have more success. Click the Show Details button. Check that the printer is Blanco Negro or color depending on what you need. Do not print in color unless you really need color. And check that the paper size is U.S. letter before you click Print. The first time you print, you will need to enter your password. New students will need to speak with the Copy Center to activate their accounts. Lastly, organizing the files on your computer is as important as organizing your Google Drive. You should have a folder for each of your classes on your desktop so you have a good place to store your offline work. First, we will create a 7th grade folder. Secondary click on the desktop and choose New Folder from the list. Secondary click on the folder and choose Get Info from the list. This will open the panel that allows you to rename the folder. Let's call this 7th grade. Double clicking on the folder opens it up. Notice that you have several different view options here as well. I prefer the list view. Inside here, secondary click and choose new folder from the list. Make this your English language arts folder or your social studies or your science. You will create one folder for each. Secondary click, choose new folder, rename. Repeat. Name your documents well, organize your documents into folders, and keep yourself organized. It will make your life a lot easier as you're doing your classwork this year using your Mac. Thank you for watching.